Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. My name is Leslie. In today's video, I'm going to do a couple of spring break outfit ideas. Um, spring break is coming up right next month around the corner. So if you would like to see some of these ideas, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you. Hey, so the first outfit that I'm going to show you guys is pretty much these short, high-waisted shorts that I bought off of Hollister. I bought these all last summer and I bought this nice black crop top from Boohoo. Um, I think it goes perfectly together since it's black with these blue shorts down at the bottom. And I paired it up with this really cute dad hat I got off from Windsor.com. And I'm also wearing a nice cute little infinity choker. And I'm also wearing just a black and gold bracelet that I got from my friend. Shout out to Nikki. And I paired it up with this cute little bag from Coach. Um, this was a gift, so I don't know how I'll be able to find it. But any cute little um, side bag is perfect if you're going to be walking around all day. And especially going to the clubs. And just, you definitely need one. And these are my favorite glasses. These are from Dolce & Gabbana. My boyfriend got me these maybe like five years ago, but these are my favorite like aviator-like glasses. It's perfect. And I'm just wearing some plain black flip-flops. I don't think I can get them in, but any, any shoes are fine. But this is the... The second outfit um, is a little more sexy-ish, but you can wear it as a day outfit or you could turn it into a night out outfit. So I'm wearing this mesh black see-through crop top that I bought from Boohoo.com. Underneath I'm wearing a black really comfortable bralette from Forever 21. Um, this hat is so adorable. It's a perfect beach spring break hat. I bought it from TJ Maxx for $7. They have hundreds of these coming out as the weather gets warmer. Um, I'm using the same coach bag. You know, it said everything goes with a side bag. And I got these high-waisted, ripped, worn-out shorts from Forever 21. And I'm also wearing a gold body chain that was a birthday gift as well for my friend Nikki and Vanessa. Thank you guys. And the same gold and black bracelet that I had in the first outfit. And you can easily wear it with any flip-flops. I would say black flip-flops. I got do right now. Don't say you're on the run to the other side. My love. Okay, this is the third outfit. Um, here I'm wearing the same um, black Forever 21 bralette that I had in my second outfit. And on top, I'm wearing a dark olive crop top that crosses right here in the middle. And I bought this from Forever 21 as well. Um, I'm wearing black high-waisted shorts I got from Hollister. I bought these last summer. Um, I think they were on sale. They're stretchy. You can use them as pajama shorts as well, but I think they're really, really nice. And I'm wearing this black hat that I bought from Forever 21 probably maybe three weeks ago and it says skirt skirt you know Uber everywhere skirt skirt and what else I'm wearing two chokers I got from Forever 21 as well they have hundreds of these so you can just pair it up with any type of chokers and um, black flip flops pretty simple but also nice and cute I still have the tag on <laughs> Hey, so this is the fourth outfit. Um, this one is definitely also very sexy, but um, nice to wear during the day, and you could turn it into a night outfit. So I'm wearing this bodysuit that has um, a lot of open holes in them, and I ordered this off of Fashion Nova. Um, I ordered a size small, but I feel that I should have gotten a medium because it's very tight. 
but um, it's definitely different and trust me, you would you will stand out. I think it's so different and sexy. And underneath, I'm wearing my same Forever 21 bralette that I've worn in the other outfits. And I'm using the same little side bag from Coach. I kept on the two chokers from the third outfit. And I'm using these high-waisted dark blue jeans I ordered off of Fashion Nova as well. Um, I ordered these two together and it was, was my first purchase from there. Their jeans are just amazing. I'm, I'm hooked now. Officially getting all my jeans from them. These were like $30. Um, and I'm wearing this burgundy hat also from Windsor.com. It's the same brand that I wore in the first outfit. I got them on sale two for ten dollars last summer and um, they're like, you know, suede. And I'm just wearing black flip flops and it's a pretty, this outfit just stands out. I love it. You say you want to try, but you never this is the fifth outfit. Um, it is super festival, sexy looking. Um, I know this looks like uh, some of you guys are going to say, what the hell is she doing? But trust me, when you guys go away to spring break, Cancun, Miami, Dominican Republic, everyone there is dressed super sexy. And trust me, you will fit right in. <laughs> So, I got this um, maxi skirt from Boohoo.com last year. It's a slinky material, so it's super, super comfortable. And it has a second layer underneath it, so it's not too see-through. Um, I'm wearing this bralette that I got from Forever 21. It has these two really pretty lines that make it different. And I'm wearing the gold body chain from my friend's... Um, a gift from Nikki and Vanessa again and this is the one thick black Forever 21 choker that I had in the other outfits and this is another hat that I also bought from TJ Maxx um, again it was like seven dollars and as the weather gets nicer they have hundreds of these out and just with a side bag um, I would say this since it's a maxi skirt it'll go perfect with wedges. These are from Forever 21. Um, I think I paid $25. I'm, I'm sure they have wedges out right now and probably on sale since it's not warm yet, but you definitely want to bring wedges to your vacation because heels are going to be a mistake. You're going to kill yourself. So, I really, really love this outfit. But there's a reason why we lose. You say you want to cry, but you enjoyed those five outfits and that I kind of helped you come up with some ideas of what you can do for your own outfits while you guys go away for your spring break. Um, right now I just want to give you guys a, maybe a couple tips and just a little bit about my experience when I went away to Cancun twice for spring break. Um, so if you would like to hear about that just keep on watching and thank you. Alright guys so I went to spring break, um, I went to spring break, I went to Cancun for spring break twice. Um, the first time I think was 2014, I went with um, two of my best friends and my sister, Shirley, Lexi, and Karina. And um, at the time I was either 20 or 21, I don't remember. Or was it 22? I don't know. Um, anyways, so it was crazy down there. It's crowded. Um, a tip I will give you guys is that if you are going just for the beach, then you pretty much can stay any at any resort nearby the beach. Um, if you're going th there to party, which is what we want, um, you want to stay at the very end of the tip of Cancun. It's a whole long strip. You want to stay at the tip. There's a bunch of hotels down there, and that's where you can just walk outside. There's a bunch of restaurants you can walk to, a bunch of clubs you can walk to, and... That's just the place you want to be if you want that kind of activity. Um, 
The hotel that we stayed at was called the Crystal Grand Punta Cana. It was not all inclusive, but um, I'm happy we stayed there because it was more of a calm scene. And once we stepped outside down the party area, that's where it got crazy. Um, but there was other hotels. We went to um, Oasis, I believe, for a spring break day party. And that hotel was very trashy. So I think if you stay at something like a little cheapish, then you're going to have all the college kids staying there and it's going to be pretty dirty with a bunch of throw up everywhere, a bunch of drunk people being loud in the hallways. Um, but if you want something nice and quiet to go back home to um, and clean, then you should stay at something more family-ish, um, you know, more family resort. What else? Um, so when we went down there, we did um, a couple of day activities. One of them was going to Isla Mujeres which you take a boat, um, it's an all-day trip, so you're picked up by a bus, you take the boat down to Isla Mujeres, and it has your breakfast, lunch, and a little bit of snacks, I think, included. Um, when you're on the boat, on the yacht, they have an entertainer. Uh, we had, I think, three guys who were just so sweet, um, singing, getting everybody to dance, and, of course, there was unlimited liquor and other things water juice but you know definitely worth it you pay i think we paid a hundred dollars each maybe or maybe only 80 each but these activities um when you go down to cancun there's going to be a bunch of people going up to you um with um uh little cards telling you do you want to do this do you want to do that what do you guys have planned and those are the people that you want to talk to definitely um, you know, be, make friends with him, with the, that person, get to know them, tell them your budget. And that's how we planned our day trips. We had people coming up to us all the time. We met someone and he was very nice. He seemed like an honest guy. We went with it and everything turned out great. We felt safe. Um, what else did I do? I think the second time that I went to Cancun, I went to Chichen Itza, another day trip. And we also went to see, um, um... Uh, El Cenote, which is a big sinkhole in Mexico, well in Cancun, a sinkhole um, that you get to swim in and it was a really beautiful experience. They had like a, a few like black fish in there, um, but it's just completely breathtaking. The water is freezing, but the overall experience is just beautiful. Um, and we also, you know, we went to the clubs, we went partying. Um, I recommend going to Coco Bongo and Mandala. Um, so when I went to Coco Bongo, it was very crowded. And I only lasted five minutes because, it, I, I don't know, my anxiety got to me. And I felt like way too many people. I couldn't even walk. So I left five minutes later. But when I went out again, my second time going to Cancun, I went to Club Mandala. And we went... Um, with a deal. This guy, um, you know, when you have a big group, you talk to people so you can get a cheaper deal and want to get all-inclusive drinks. Um, it was, I believe, six of us. And they, um, we paid $80. We got a bracelet. We had an open bar from, I think, maybe 10 o'clock to close, which is 4 in the morning. And it's totally worth it. You Unlimited drinks. So that's definitely something you guys want to do. Get all-inclusive a, a bracelet of wherever you guys plan to go. Coco Bongo, they offer that for all of the clubs. They want you guys to go out. That's how they make their money. Um, I also want to recommend you guys go to... Um, yeah, you know, there's a bunch of things to do down there. If you're going down there, make sure you guys buy the packages. When you talk to someone, tell them that you want to make sure it comes with the breakfast, dinner, uh, and your lunch included, and your drinks. Because besides that, then you're going to be spending so much money on your food and drinks. And it's, asking for the package is so much more worth it. Um, and just another tip I want to give you guys, because I know you're going to be staying at hotels or Airbnb. But basically, you will not be in probably all day because you're going to be at the beach doing all these activities. Um, I know a lot of you guys are going to bring your cash because it's going to be annoying to bring a bunch of money and... Um, only on your card and you're going to have to keep going to the ATM. No, you're probably going to bring cash. So I, my tip to you guys is to use any um, uh, like box and put your money in there. And 
I say that because you don't know who's coming in to clean your room or they know that we're there traveling and we probably have money and just to be safe. So what I did was I put all my cash in um I had a, a makeup box. Um, let's say it's like a MAC foundation box. You know, the packaging of it, small box. So I put my money in there and I left it inside of my suitcase. So it's, what are the chances of someone finding that? That's just a really good tip that you guys want to do because, you know, the safe, fine, sure, but who knows? I mean, they can have a key. I don't know. That's just a small tip. Um, so I guess that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and um, give it a thumbs up if you like it and let me know what you guys would like to see next. Um, I'm going to put a list down below of a couple of things you should bring, just like a, you know, checklist. So in case you guys, um, aren't very good at that, hopefully you could reference to this to help you out. So I hope you guys, um, please be safe out there where you guys are planning to go and make sure you have good friends with you and you guys buddy up and everyone watches someone because it can get pretty fucking crazy down there from my experience. Um... So have a safe trip and we're all looking forward to spring break. Yes. Take care guys.